Hey y'all, it's Crystal. Welcome. Welcome back here to my little corner of YouTube. Um, today is a tag video. I'm going to do the Deja Vu uh, book tag. It's a bit of an older tag. I'm just getting around to doing it and I've been, there's been a bit of a revival of the tag. I've seen some other folks uh, doing it also here the past you know few weeks and so uh, and it's a good one. It's it's all about rereading, so I think it's a fun tag. Uh, so let's dig right into the questions. Let me f actually mention, of course, this was created by Walker Writes Seven. I will, of course, link that channel below, the original video, and uh, let's get going with these questions. So number one is, do you reread, and how often? I do reread. Uh, I, I enjoy rereading books. Um, how often though? Maybe not as often as I would like. I've reread maybe just a handful of books this year. Maybe not even a handful, honestly. <laughs> maybe just a few. Um, but I'll say I don't read them. I don't reread probably as often as I would like. How about that? <laughs> uh, number two, why do you reread? Um, I just like to get back into favorites. You know, if I absolutely love a book and I love a story or I love a character, I want to I want to read that again um, I want to get back into that world um, I want that experience again that feeling that they that maybe a book gave me or there are sometimes it's a comfort you know there's comfort in knowing what to expect you know from a from a story sometimes it's helpful to get out of a slump so if you're not just just not feeling reading and so sometimes just picking up an old favorite that you've read a bunch of times, that can help get you out of a slump. So yeah, I just, many reasons, but usually just because it's, it, um, it's just something, I don't know, it just makes me feel good, I guess. <laughs> so number three, what have been some of your favorite books to reread? I've got a couple of books here. These are probably the books I have reread the most throughout my life. Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood is my most favorite book ever. I reread it probably the most <laughs> in my life. I don't know. I don't know how many times I've, I've read it now, but I love this book. I love to reread this book. Even though it's, even though it's not, you know, I don't always get good feelings from it. So it might be my previous question. <laughs> it wasn't, but, um, yeah, this is just a favorite, so this is why I like to reread it. Uh, In An Invisible Monsters by Chuck Palahniuk is also one of my just all-time favorite books. I love this book. I love this story. I love the characters. It is a zany, madcap road trip kind of a story with super interesting characters. There's some twists and turns, and I just love this book. Even though I know the twists and turns, I love this book. I love to reread this book. So yeah, these two my favorites to reread. Alrighty. So 3.5 is like what is a book that you would like to reread. A more recent read for me is Exquisite Corpse by Poppy C. Bright. I already want to reread this book because it's a new favorite and I want to read it again. Soon. <laughs> Let's see. Number four is a book that you predict will be so good that you will want to reread it. And I went with Good Omens by Terry Pratchett and Neil Gaiman. Um, was, I haven't read this one yet. I know, I know. Uh, but I feel like it's gonna be really fun and one that I will want to reread. So uh, I went with Good Omens. I think it's gonna be a fun one whenever I get to it. Uh, number five, pick a book from your younger years that you think would be interesting to reread. So I have been wanting to dig into the Ramona and Fudge books from my, I mean, really young childhood. I've been wanting to reread these series, um, want to kind of, for nostalgia reasons, and to just to kind of remember what the story was about. Like, I remember like the gist of these books, you know, but I don't remember what happens in each of these little books. And so, of course, the Ramona books are by Beverly Cleary, and uh, the Fudge series is by Judy Bloom. These two ladies are just pivotal in my childhood reading. So I would really like to dig back into these series um, just to kind of capture some of that feel good nostalgia from my childhood. Alrighty. Number six. Tell us a series 
or a book that's so big or complex that you need to reread it to better understand it. So I went with a couple. <laughs> One is actually Malaza and Books of Book of the Fallen. I'm still in the middle of this series, but it is super complex and I feel like if I were to ever reread this series, I would understand it better and, pro and uh, get more into the ins and outs because I've already known what's going. I already know what's happening, so I can really pay more attention to kind of the, the the bits and pieces throughout the story that connect it. Maybe a bit better than what I'm understanding now. I don't know if that makes sense, but because this one is just complex and there's so many damn characters, <laughs> and I also feel like. Uh, the Broken Earth trilogy from N.K. Jemisin, I could really benefit from a reread of this. I love this series, but I feel like but I've been wanting to reread it because it is complex, complex characters, super interesting story, and I feel like I probably missed some bits going through it the first time. I, will, I feel like I would just really come to appreciate the story even more on a reread. So I think this would be also very beneficial of a reread, at least for me anyway. <laughs> okay, number seven, is there a specific type of you know, genre that you think is best and worst for a reread? I do think fantasy lends itself to rereading because it's just a world that you can get lost in. There's usually really interesting characters and you know beautiful, you know, like I said, worlds and landscapes that are created that you can just kind of get lost in. But also you know, there's classics, you know, a lot of people love to reread their favorite classic every year, that kind of thing. And and even some literary works I think are are uh, really fantastic to reread. Um, I think I'd say definitely thrillers are probably uh, less thrillers and mysteries and kind of suspense type story because like the thrill that usually that twist or the who done it like you know it already <laughs> you know it already so you you don't quite capture that initial like <gasps> feeling of like figuring out who the killer was or whatever you know so yeah i say thrillers maybe are you know not quite as interesting to reread but some are what well, hell i don't know you yeah. Number eight, is there a book that you liked more on a reread? And it would be Dune by Frank Herbert. I first read this and I like I liked it. I was like, yeah, okay, that, that was that was good. I, I enjoyed that. Um, but when I reread it, I was like, okay, yeah. <laughs> I really loved that. That was really good. And I think I benefited from a reread by knowing that knowing what was gonna happen already. And so I could really like, hone in on the details a bit more and understand what those details meant. And it really just added so much more to the story for me. So yeah, definitely Dune um, was, I liked it more on a reread for sure. Uh, and then 8.5 is one that you liked less. Geek Love by Catherine Dunn. Um, this was, used to be an all time favorite of mine. And um, I reread it recently and I didn't like it as much. I did a whole video on this book, so I'll link it below if you want to hear me really ramble, ramble, ramble on about this book, of my reread of it. But yeah, I, um, I, and this is actually another reason why I like to reread, especially when it's something that I consider a favorite, because I would have, this would have been a top favorite of mine, because when I read it in my 20s, I loved it. And, so, and then I reread it, and I came away feeling differently about it, and so, yeah. That's why I like to reread too, because sometimes books just hit you differently when you're at different stages of your life too, you know? Okay, so number nine, if you reread, let us uh, know a book that you like to, uh, a book or series that you'd like to read before the end of the year. Now, if you remember in my plans video for this year, I had a whole list of books I wanted to reread and I have not been doing very well on that list. <laughs> I was doing really good. Uh, but I've kind of fallen off the wayside of that one. Uh, but one of the books on that list was Handmaid's Tale. So I do want to read Handmaid's Tale by the end of the year. And I would really like to reread Betty at some point. Hopefully this year. Um, I know those were two books that were on that list. So we'll see. <laughs> we'll see how the year goes. Uh, number 10 is to tag. So, I mean, this is an old tag, so I don't know who all has done it and who all hasn't. So, if you're seeing this tag, you enjoyed rereading and you would like to do it, please do. It's definitely a fun tag. Um, and 
if you let, or let me know down in the comments what is a favorite book that you like to reread I'd love to know and or do you read some people just don't which is fine too so that's it for me thanks so much for stopping in I'm always appreciative of your time you know I am so that's gonna do it for me and I will catch you in the next one bye friends